take me back. Hi everyone, it's Ariel here and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited we got the lights set up today. I know I normally don't like to set up the lights, but you know, your girl had to face reality that the sun sets and eventually we won't have to learn these damn lights. So that's what we're doing today. And I also just got a new bed, which I'm so excited about and you guys will see in my vlog. If you didn't know, I moved recently, which also that is the topic of this video, but I'm slowly upgrading my furniture and things like that. And I'm vlogging the process for you guys. So I recently got this new bed frame. I am in love with it. As you can see, it has some crystals. It definitely looks better in the daytime, but we're working with what we got for now. Today, I'm going to be doing an advice video and I'm so excited. I actually love filming advice videos and I have another one coming soon for you guys actually. And I want to start doing advice videos a lot more frequently. So if you have any topic requests, definitely make sure to leave them down below. I definitely want to start doing more tips videos where I give specific tips on specific topics. On top of the Girl Talk Get Ready With Me's that I already do once in a while and I want to start doing advice series where you guys give me your scenarios and I answer advice but anyway today we are going to be talking about all things moving I actually got a comment from one of you guys on one of my recent videos I will leave it here if I can find it thank you so much this actually inspired this video I was like hmm actually I should do a video about that today I'm gonna to be talking all about moving out moving out basics financially mentally physically everything that you need to know about moving out now if you don't know my specific background which if you're not subscribed already please be sure to do so it is such a fun time around here I would love it if you stuck around and while you're at it be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below because it helps me out a lot but anyway I did a girl talk get ready with me that I will link down below where I talked about my specific moving story and other mental struggles that come with moving so if you want to see that and if that interests you definitely be sure to watch that as well but today I'm going to be breaking down kind of step-by-step -step moving and more of the logistics of moving so I wrote down some stuff in my little handy note and we're just gonna get started so if you're thinking of moving no matter how old you are wherever you want to go this is your sign to go out and do it I wanted to preface this video by saying that I feel like everybody in their lifetime should move at least once moving for me has been the biggest blessing multitude of lessons just so many things that have changed my life in such an amazing way and I've learned so much about myself whenever somebody comes to me like hey Ariel I'm thinking of moving out no matter where they want to go I always push them to do it so if you didn't know I moved out across the country from New York to Los Angeles all by myself at 18 years old of course I had the help of my family but I did move by myself no roommates no nothing and for me it was a bit different because I had the scenario of college and that for me was my instant green light it was my opportunity so that leads me to my first point which is where do you start what's your purpose where do you want to go why do you want to go there what's the plan obviously there's gonna be different people in different stages of their life watching this but if you are moving straight out of high school I say that is the biggest red flag of all time because you get a little bit of help financially from like student loans and things like that and it's also the one time in your life where you're so young and you get to go wherever you want it's the perfect excuse but regardless I'm not going to focus too much on that because I know there's a multitude of circumstances and reasons that one might want to move out and even if it's not as drastic as me where I was moving across the country even if you want to move the next city over get an apartment by yourself this video is going to help you in some way shape or form so first things first of course if you want to move I'm sure you have a place in mind definitely have some kind of reason some kind of game plan make sure you visited that area before have a specific goal that you want to come out of it whether that is maybe it's for a job maybe it's for school and maybe it's just to meet new friends and because you want to explore life and get something out of it. whatever it is make sure you have your game plan. see if you're gonna have roommates if you're trying to live alone all of these factors will really help you in your moving situation so I'm gonna break this video up in different sections we're gonna be talking about the mental struggles the financial struggles the physical struggles and basically cover it all but before we get into that a lot of people and a lot of questions that I do get is where do you even start when you want to move so when you first have that initial game plan and you have the reason why and you think it's really gonna be beneficial for your life you want to do it you kind of set your mind the next thing is coming to apartment hunt. and this might be different maybe you're at the means to get a house or a condo or anything like that but when it comes to hunting I say that when you first get your initial idea of moving definitely look up apartments online and get a feel for price ranges and areas and things like that but I cannot stress this enough how important it is to apartment hunt in person because 
When I was planning to move to Los Angeles, I graduated high school in June and my school started in October. So I wanted to move to Los Angeles in August so that I had two months to situate myself. So in June and even in January of the year that I was gonna move, I would look at apartments and things would look all fine and dandy. They would look amazing. First of all, things would become unavailable, but also I cannot stress enough. The first day that me and my mom went to Apartment Hunt, we were devastated because these beautiful apartment homes that looked so beautiful on the internet and so modern and lovely were in the worst areas did not look like the pictures all these sort of things so I highly recommend wherever you're gonna go even if it's an inconvenience go out of your way to apartment hunt in person I've heard horror stories of people never seeing the place never even visiting the area knowing anything about where they're moving and that just causes so much more mental <laughs> distress also something that I didn't know is that apartment hunting actually goes very fast so when apartments go on the market they're pretty much looking to tour and get that thing sold and moved into right away most of the time the places have like a month until the move-in date or sometimes they're ready for you to move in that same day so whenever you're ready to move and you're prepared and you kind of have all your stuff together and your game plan figured out I say go and be ready and expect to move within that month so for me I was staying in Orange County while I was apartment hunting in LA and I actually found my apartment on the second day of apartment hunting and they were ready for us to move in I think the week after and I just didn't realize how fast it was all gonna go luckily for me I had all my stuff packed in a suitcase that went one way across the country and I was also shipping my car so shipping my car Car across the country I think was like 1200 around there and I had all my the rest of my stuff in my car so college was definitely a really easy game plan for me because it kind of had the guidelines and all that kind of stuff but when you want to move basically have all of that organized make sure you have help all that kind of stuff so then of course physically you want to figure out if you can have roommates if you're gonna have help moving if you have to go by plane train car who's gonna help the cost and all that kind of stuff so the next thing I'm gonna go into is all the financials of moving we're gonna talk about the more mental stuff after this but I feel like something that's really a prevalent question is the financial part and then I also have some questions that I asked you guys for on Instagram Instagram that I'm gonna answer after so first things first when you want to move the basics of moving into any apartment is that right off the bat you have to have your first month rent payment your last month rent payment and a security deposit which is usually the rent payment so basically take the rent times three and that's the money that you have to have up front just to give to the apartment building honestly moving it's a lot financially All right, so that's why I wanted to help you guys I'll give you guys this game plan so also when you're applying for a Apartments, you usually have to pay an application fee that also does include the traveling fees that you're gonna have to buy the moving expenses all that kind of stuff so the good thing about this is that you know that your first month rent is already paid for already good already set and your last month whenever you decide to move out is paid for as well so then normally lease contracts go for a year every place is different sometimes it's month to month sometimes it's two years sometimes it's one year sometimes it's six months whatever the negotiation is once you sign that contract you're basically in the lease for that year so you have to be prepared to pay your rent on time etc as stressful as it is it is so important to make sure that you have this game plan or you have that job lined up or you have whatever resources because I cannot stress enough how important your credit score is and all of this sort of stuff also just gonna try and put you guys on game a little bit more when it comes to apartments everyone's different everyone has different goals for their life so this might not even apply to you but a lot of the times people get stuck in apartments because of the system and it's so much money up front it's more comfortable all that kind of stuff but the end goal for most people is to eventually move out to a house or have a property that you can actually own when it comes to apartments you're renting it you don't own it at all you pay all of this money and at the end they say bye bye nice knowing you thanks Thanks for the rent, bye. Which is why for me personally, it is such a goal to get to a point where I can get a condo or something that I actually own and that I can have under my name as property to eventually rent out to other people and things like that. I'm just telling you guys this from what I've learned and from what I've realized and having friends that have homes and that do Airbnb and seeing that they're really successful doing so. My biggest advice is picking somewhere to live that's comfortable for you and your budget. 
try not to go too high to that luxury standpoint unless by all means if you can afford it go for it and try not to go too little either go for where you're gonna be comfortable go for where you know you're gonna have extra money for gas for food to save because saving is very important especially if you want to eventually get out of your apartment someday you have to have that money for a rainy day vacations whatever it may be you want to live comfortably for me my biggest 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 advice is to always go for something a little bit lower because yes luxury apartments are amazing and beautiful and nice but I know people that have to rent the same luxury apartment that they pay more than a mortgage would be on for a majority of their life because they're paying okay let's say you're paying four thousand a month for a luxury high sky rise building in New York City or downtown LA for example and of course it's way way easier if you're in a state like Texas or anywhere else that the rent prices aren't ridiculous but this is the scenario in Los Angeles for example however a lot of mortgages in Los Angeles or New York City are four thousand a month or even less depending on the negotiation you make the down payment your credit score etc oh god adulting anyway I know people that are stuck paying this four thousand dollars a month every single month every single year and because they're paying so much money and then they most of the time have a nice car and they want to have this nice lifestyle they have little to no savings and it's really hard for them to get out of their luxury apartment because of the situation that they're now in. So that's just what I've realized. Of course, everybody has their own opinion when it comes to renting versus owning. Everybody has their own goals. You might have the completely opposite different opinion of me and that's totally fine. But my biggest advice is to get something that you're comfortable with and something that can still provide you with a strive to what you ultimately want in your future. So I feel like I could talk about that forever and a day. But for me, it's really important. Instead of having a luxury apartment in Los Angeles, I'm struggling for a luxury condo because that can actually have my name on it and I can rent that out I can do whatever I please with it that money isn't gonna be wasted because that four thousand a month that you pay on a luxury apartment like I said the second you say all right I'm moving out I'm done with this lease you're gone they say thank you for your money and that owner is cashing out imagine being the owner of that building and everybody you have a hundred different rooms and they're all paying four thousand a month come on now you know what I mean but imagine your room that you're paying four thousand on is a condo and now instead of you having to pay that four thousand you have Airbnb you rent it out and you're getting that money from people so they're basically paying that for you and paying off that mortgage you know I know I'm getting really complicated in this but the next steps with financials and moving is not only do you have to have all that money up front and know that you're gonna be able to pay your rent on time I did not realize how how much money it would be keep in mind I was 18 years old I was having the help of my mom at the time I did not realize how much be prepared to take out a loan for furniture and for me I moved across the country I had to buy everything down to toilet bowl cleaner down to the scrubber down to the shower curtain down to the bedding every piece of furniture down to the broom down to literally you guys get what I mean you have to buy everything <laughs> forks plates like all of that is a huge expense in itself so whatever your budget is for that you also have to put that into account like for me right now I moved into a different apartment recently and I have been using the same furniture and the same stuff for a good two months and I'm slowly upgrading because of how much money it is up front plus your rent so that is my advice financially and I got a lot of questions about how do I budget and spreadsheets and all that kind of stuff and I feel like I could definitely do that in another video I feel like whatever works for you works for you in that sense but you just kind of have to know the basic principles of what you need financially also you have to keep in mind utilities so not only do you have to live and have groceries and have savings and etc etc leisure money ladies we want our hair done we want our nails done we want our lashes our wax there's also utilities oh my god I hate how expensive life is like take me back to when I didn't have to worry about all this stuff and then with graduation coming up mm, these loans Ugh. anyway some apartments come with utilities this is something that you really need to keep in mind and when you're talking to the leasing manager or whoever it may be Wi-Fi is usually not included gas electricity water all that kind of stuff is extra bills on top of your rent so I say you have a ballpark number of what you want your rent to be let's say you you want your rent to be a thousand dollars then you should really be looking for places that are 700 to 800 dollars and then add your 
your utilities on top you know what I mean and it definitely gets easier when you have roommates and you have things and splitting but for me personally I did not think a roommate was the right way to go especially because I was moving across the country I didn't know anybody or trust anybody enough that much to just hop in and say hey I'm gonna live with you I don't know you I just met you and I'm just that kind of person where I need my space and my home is my safe place like I didn't want to deal with all that you know but to each its own so now I'm gonna be talking about the mental aspects for me this is one of the hardest aspects in my opinion and I did talk about this a lot more in my girl talk get ready with me so I'm gonna kind of be kind of fast through this one mentally preparing yourself to move away from your family and friends is so 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 important for me I moved across the country so it was a traumatic drastic difference it's a lot easier if you're moving an hour drive away or even a two-hour drive away you know what I mean even a, a two-hour plane ride I'm a six-hour plane ride away from my family and trust me when I say that every day that thought is just I don't like it it does get easier I do want to say that moving is really an experience to get to know yourself it is so exciting it is so freeing it brings you independence it shows you so much about the world it is such a positive thing but with change and with positive change also comes a lot of discomfort at first I just want everybody to go in with the mindset that they're gonna give themselves three to six months to fully adjust it is a big adjustment especially if you're coming from your parents house and from having home-cooked meals and to having ex access to your dad to fix your tires when something goes wrong it is a big aspect especially when you don't have friends in the area yet when I tell you guys for the first six months I felt like I was going crazy I can't even begin to explain I was going through a breakup it was a lot so I just want you to be fully prepared for big life changes in all aspects and just know that all of the things that you go through in the first three to six months of moving, whether they're positive or whether they're negative, are going to help you grow as a person. They're going to change your life. You're going to remember it forever and it's going to make you so strong. Please do not go by fear. Fear of what if I can't live without my parents? What if I can't live without my best friend? That is not the way to live. You have to live for yourself and you have to do this for yourself. I truly feel like moving is kind of like an inner body experience you get to know yourself on a level that you've never known yourself before especially living alone let me tell you when you live alone for years you have nobody to help you carry your groceries you have nobody to help you with your car you have basically no friends it makes you realize so much about life and about yourself and it will test you don't get me wrong but that test is the biggest blessing because you realize that you got yourself you have to get to the point where you realize that no matter what happens in life, you have yourself, you got yourself, you're going to do it, you're going to figure it out. And to me, that was the most rewarding feeling. After the six months of like crying and not knowing if I made the right decision, not even embracing the fact that I'm in my favorite city in the world, I don't know where this shift even came about, but I just realized like, wow, this was the best decision I've ever made. It's crazy. And another tip of advice I have is to definitely in the first three to six months, visit home as much as you can, just so you see and you get the feel to have your family. I feel like I went home like every month, I feel like when I first moved and I would stay for like two weeks at a time and it really did help me because every time that I would leave, it would get easier and easier and I would realize, you know, hey, I'm doing this for me, I'm doing this for my life. Someday I'm gonna be reunited with my family and I'm gonna be in a position to fly them out or fly often or have them come stay with me. But sometimes you just have to take a leap. You can't be scared of what's gonna happen, what you're gonna miss out on. And that's why I say everybody when they're young should move away at least once. It's definitely a learning experience. Definitely have a friend that you can FaceTime all the time to help you with that transition. So the way I always look at it and still look at it to this day because I am away from my family for months at a time, I look at it as setting up my future and making them proud. And another thing I want to point out is I know it's hard at first when you move. You're like, I don't know anybody. I'm not going to have any friends. Let me tell you, if I could go back three years ago, like three and a half now, and tell myself, like, the people you will meet, it's 
unbelievable. Maybe I just got lucky, but my experience, I've met friends and people that are gonna last a lifetime in my life. And I've made my second family out here. I miss my friends and family back home to death, don't get me wrong. But I find peace in knowing that I have friends that have treated me like family and their families have treated me like family. And honestly, it's the most beautiful feeling in the world to meet new people and make friends and genuine connections and genuine friends. To me, it is such a trip. Like, sometimes I really sit back and think like, wow. And me and my best friend Natalie talk about this a lot. A lot of times me and her feel like we have like that soulmate connection. And sometimes we really just sit and think like, I'm from Long Island, New York, all the way across the country she's from a city in california and we found our ways together and i'm closer to her than i've been with some of my friends that i grew up with if any of you are watching this please do not take that the wrong way but you know what i mean and i truly feel like moving has made me realize fate and god's plan in a totally different light i don't even know how to explain it but you meet people that you would have never known if you didn't move. And the impact of that is just crazy to me. Like, if I stayed on Long Island, New York, I would probably be with the same people, doing the same things, feeling the same way. And of course, let's say I went to New York City, I would have met new people. But I think the impact of, like, I literally moved across the whole country. Like, the people that are in my life right now, all of my friends, they were going to high school in California while I was going to high school in New York and I didn't even know they existed they didn't even know I existed so it's just honestly a trip to me how you can move somewhere and make these connections with people and truly like last a lifetime and I remember my uncle always told me when I was gonna move to California my family all my family were really honestly devastated a lot of my family tried to convince me not to move and to stay in New York and to go closer or to go to a city over but my uncle always told me where you go to college is normally where you stay because of the people you meet and because of the influence it has on your life okay so I pretty much answered all of the questions that people asked me on Instagram um, someone asked how come I had to move that you can find in old videos specifically if you're talking about my new apartment it was completely out of the blue and I actually talked about it in my moving vlog towards the end of the video um, that explains the whole story of why I moved into this place it kind of just fell in my lap but um, when you moved out of your parents house did you mentally feel more free and better it was definitely a love-hate it was like I felt so much freedom and I felt like an adult and I felt like I could think for my own, but it also felt like, wow, I miss them. And I'll go back and I'm like, wow, home cooked meals and just having them whenever I want, you know? So it's definitely freeing, of course, but it definitely has its downfalls as well. But yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to have conversations with you guys in the comments. Let me know what other advice videos you want to see or anything you want me to touch on more. I hope that this inspired you in some way, shape, or form, and I hope that you are excited to move. Please, please, please be encouraged. I truly feel like once in your life, everybody should move. And think of it this way. If you move somewhere and you hate it, at least you did it for a year, at least you did it for six months, and you can move back home, and you can think of it as a lesson, you can think of it as things that it taught you that you can't tolerate for the future, what you want out of your life, what you don't want out of life, no matter how long it is, how far you go, you're going to learn something out of it. So that's why I say everybody should at least move once and see for themselves. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.